192.4. It's a good starting point. Nobody outworks me. What's up you guys, welcome back. Today is August 31st, 2022. I'm here at Jack Culture in Rockland. Brand new gym that's opened up. My buddy finally put a gym here in our hometown that we can shoot at, get good quality content. What else is exciting is next week, I officially start my off season, my bulk, in preparation for my next competition. You guys, it's been a long time since I've been on stage, since 2018. I took a lot of time off. Um, I'm ready, I'm ready mentally. Physically, I'm ready to get back after it. I have the help and support from some tremendous sponsors, and I'm eager to get back on stage to show you guys what I'm still capable of doing. The 192.4, you guys, and that is this beginning weight. I have dropped like 10 pounds in the past five weeks, as expected, coming off of everything. Um, it's not easy, like, bridging in between. Energy's low, motivation can take, take a toll, but staying mentally sharp is really important during this time. You know, eating good, still hitting the gym consistently. And, you know, I've been able to hit, hold on to a lot of size. So I was originally planning to start my bulk, my off season, September 1st, which is tomorrow. But unfortunately, I have to have oral surgery in a few hours, I have to get a tooth pulled. Make sure you guys take care of your teeth. So I'm gonna be actually getting this one pulled out. It's gonna be another uphill challenge is dealing with being toothless on both sides. I had a molar pulled out in 2018. So you guys can imagine how difficult it's gonna be to get seven, eight meals in my off season without my two back molars. Another obstacle, but we're gonna get through it. So we're gonna get some arms in today, maybe a little bit of shoulders. We're gonna be pushing for an upper body pump. I'm probably not gonna be training for the next few days because of the oral surgery. I'm gonna have to rest and relax a little bit. Obviously not gonna be able to eat solid food for the next few days, so I'm gonna try and get a big meal in after this. One of the biggest questions I've been getting asked is who's gonna coach me for this upcoming Olympia? I have found somebody. And um, I'm really looking forward to working with this guy. I've known him for over 10 years, since the very, very beginning of my career. Uh, my pro debut, I met him on a plane flying over to New Orleans. He's somebody that's had my back genuinely. He's been a really close friend of mine. He's been in the industry for over 20 years. I'm not gonna tell you guys who it is yet because I'm gonna take you guys over there in a few weeks to the gym and I'm gonna have you guys meet him formally. It's not in Keirin, California, and it is a very legendary gym with a Mr. Olympia that used to train out of there. So if you guys have any guesses, let's hear them down below in the comments. But until then, I'm gonna leave you guys on edge and you guys will meet him very, very soon. So I got my blood work done about three, four weeks ago and got my results back, Transcend Hormone Clinic. They gave me a call, um, went over it with me. Everything has looked a lot better since when I originally started working with them 18 months ago. Even though I packed on some size, I've been on, I have progressively gotten healthier with their help and support. We had a couple of things that were off, like my cholesterol was slightly elevated, uh, my liver enzymes were slightly elevated, but since then they put me on some supplements like a cholesterol support and organ support to help get me uh, primed and ready for what we're about to do in the upcoming weeks. I had a phone call with uh, Jesse, my specialist yesterday, and uh, we went over my game plan for my off season. And uh, I'm really excited to get after it. It's been a long time since I pushed my body the way I'm about to push it. I know what I'm capable of when I'm operating at 100%. I have a lot of high expectations for myself the next few months, and especially the next 16, 18 weeks of this bulk. Uh, you guys can expect to see me get to my biggest ever. The goal is 220. If I get to 225, that would be ideal. And I feel me at 225, I'll diet down to around 200 on stage. And at 200 pounds on stage, that's gonna be a very, very hard Jeremy Buendia to beat. Before, every time I press, I get this crazy pain in my clavicle, my collarbone. I feel the shooting pain shoot through my neck, down through my clavicle, and into my shoulder. But it's feeling a lot better. 
goal is 220 in the next 18 weeks. That's what, 20, 28 pounds? Very doable, very doable. I got the phone with a Transcend company yesterday. We went over my protocol and what we're gonna do to bulk up. And I'm excited, because I haven't pushed my body this way in a long time. My receptors are clean, my body's healthy, and uh, I'm feeling really optimistic that I'm gonna get to my biggest and best ever. I'm excited, you guys. I'm gonna be in the audience this year at Olympia. I'll be watching all these guys battle it out. I'm preparing myself for battle in 2023. Competition's gotten so much better since I was last on stage. And I'm excited to see these guys battle because it's gonna give me an idea of where I need to be next year to beat these guys. Brandon's got his work cut out for him, but I am rooting for Brandon. I want Brandon to get number four. We battled it out for many years. I still got one more win against him. Got four titles, he's got three. We've shared Olympia stage three times. I'm two and one. So I want Brandon to win. I want to bat battle for five next year in 2023. There's gonna be a lot of hype behind it. There's gonna be a lot of emotions behind it. I know how bad he wants to be considered the best and he's gotta get through me one more time and I ain't gonna let that happen. These guys have been talking me out of their own conversation. And that's their own way of giving themselves reassurance and boosting their own confidence is by counting me out and not giving me the credit where it's due. All these guys know what I'm capable of doing. They know what I've accomplished and they know I'm coming back for five and they're nervous. That's why they're saying the things they're saying. They can't stop what's coming though. I'm giving everything I got this time around a better Buendia than before. They better be worried. Number five means everything to me. I had a lot riding on 2023. After my loss in 2018, a lot of things hit the fan for me. And honestly, I felt that all my accomplishments, all four titles previously, they lost their weight. And I didn't feel like I walked away from the stage the way I wanted to walk away from the stage. You guys all know, there's been a bad taste in everybody's mouth when Jeremy Buendia's name pops up. And that hasn't sat well with me because I know I'm a better person than what I portrayed in the past. And I wanna show you guys that coming back from something means a lot when you're able to prove to yourself your value and your work. The biggest thing I want people to take away from my comeback is some inspiration that when life gets you down and things don't go your way, to not give up on yourselves, to battle through those tough times, to strive through them and to overcome them. If I would've given up on myself, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in right now to achieve something great again, to show the world that we are meant for more. Not everything's gonna go your way. And it's during those tough times that your true character will show. And that's all I hope to show you guys is that my true character is a fighter that doesn't give up on himself, that believes in himself, and that is a champion. So you guys, I'll be heading out to India at the end of October for like two weeks. It's my only planned trip I have right now during my off season, so. I'm looking forward to going out there, I love India. I'll be with my sponsor, Big Muscle Nutrition, a bunch of my buddies out there. There's the Shrew Classic at the end of October, and then also Big Muscles is putting on their own show uh, with Fitline, the equipment company. They're actually giving out the largest cash prize for an amateur bodybuilding show in Indian history. I think it's 125,000 US dollars. Massive prize money for an amateur show. So if you guys are in India, make sure you guys check out the Big Fit bodybuilding show. I believe it's like November 5th or 6th. I'll be out there supporting all the athletes and uh, be rocking with Big Muscles Nutrition. If you guys haven't tried Big Muscles yet, they're exclusively in India. Amazing flavors, amazing products. I encourage you guys to try them. That's my favorite flavor. Leche. You guys want to see what the starting point is? I wasn't planning on taking my shirt off for you guys, but 
Why not? Because this is gonna be the worst I look before Olympia in 2023. So let's do it. All right, you guys, this is a 192.4 morning weight. What do you think, Matt? Not bad? Hey, it's been five weeks since I've touched, it's about six weeks since I've touched anything. My legs have come up a lot the past past six months. I took some IGF LR3 this morning. I just started that back up to get back in my system. And I feel so much fuller. It, I took some about 75 grams of carbs in before I came here. And I'm pushing really well. Transcend sent me out some last week to get started on. Right? So this will be the worst physique of Jeremy Buendia you'll see for the next, what? How many months out were you from 2023 Olympia? 16, roughly? 16 months out? 192.4 before I start bulking up next week. We're in a good spot, you guys. Me at 220. Be the best Jeremy Buendia you guys ever seen.